As you review the rankings of the best companies on this page, we thought it would make sense to introduce to you how these rankings are actually generated and what it is that the buyers get from this resource. We as buyers oftentimes are lost and want to find the best products and services. However, finding who to even call requires us to Google or ask for a word of mouth reference. Once we Google, we find there are a bazillion results. That's essentially of zero help. We may find a source like Gartner, Forrester, IDG, or a website that claims to have identified the best products or services, but that's a single source that's recommending a product or a service. I guess that's better than having no source. But what I need is a source that will tell me who the best companies for the product or service I'm seeking is based on a consensus, not a single person, not a single website or an analyst telling me what is good or bad. After all, are you going to believe the opinion of a thousand happy clients or the opinion of a single analyst? That's where this website comes in. Our rankings process is incredibly transparent. The website rates products and services based primarily on client reviews. Our philosophy here at Crowd Reviews is very simple. Make your clients happy consistently and you will rank as one of the best. For buyers, this is an incredibly important tool before making any purchasing decision. Now you can ensure you're only talking to companies that offer a superior experience based on a consensus, not a single source recommending a product or a service. You can stop watching the video now. However, if you want to know the nitty gritty details of how client and user reviews actually determine these rankings, keep watching. Our algorithm takes into consideration five major factors, which are broken now. They are review strength, reputation strength, reviewer strength, profile strength, and verification status of a company. Let's start with the foundation of the rating system, the review strength. This factor measures the size of the consensus. In other words, how many reviews does a company have? How old are these reviews? What is the average rating given by the reviewers? We measure how insightful are the reviews. Are they really adding value to the next potential buyer of that product or service? We look at how many reviews are left by anonymous sources versus an authenticated review, which is tied to a LinkedIn account. Having 5,000 anonymous reviews on a product or service means nothing in comparison to having 10 credible and legitimate reviews that are tied to LinkedIn users. Reputation strength focuses on a company's will to resolve the problems. Every company cannot and will not make every customer happy. We understand that and we hope other buyers do too. However, companies have a chance to make right. We look at the number of negative reviews a company has received and follow that statistic up with how many of those negative reviews have been proactively resolved. Eventually, we're checking to see if companies are invested in turning negative experiences into positive experiences. Companies that consistently resolve the issues their clients may have with their product or service will rank higher compared to vendors which do not value their client feedback. Reviewer strength focuses on the reviewers. Essentially, we're measuring the quality of the reviewer. We give client reviews more credence than employee reviews. And as you would suspect, reviews left by reviewers which have their profile connected to a LinkedIn account are given more influence than anonymous reviews. Profile strength focuses on whether the vendor has provided a comprehensive profile or not. It's important that the information on any company on the website is complete. What good is a profile if a potential buyer visits an incomplete profile? In addition, for us to consider a profile completed, it is important for vendors to ensure that they've gathered a minimum of five reviews with at least three of those reviews attached to LinkedIn accounts. As the second most important element that we take into account is the consideration of whether the vendor is providing accurate data to us. We expect the companies on our website to go through a verification process that involves third-party endorsements by a CPA or an attorney. What good is data on any company if it's inaccurate? Buyers deserve the truth. If a company is going to state revenues of 50 million and a staff of 200, we want to verify that. This verification process gives a company significant bump in the rankings 
since they're willing to open up and be honest with the public. Our algorithm is so transparent that if a company is ranked at any given position and wishes to move up, they can use our forecasting tool and see how their rankings would be affected if they got an additional 30 positive reviews or essentially figure out what it would take to rise to the number one position. We invite and recommend companies to have their customers and employees leave detailed reviews on their experiences. And finally and most importantly, we recommend all buyers not to buy a service or a software without taking a look at how the consensus or a large group feels about a provider before they engage.